Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to yet again another video. I am out here burning up quite a lot. As you guys can probably see, I got some, some sweat going. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's hot, it's really hot. So it actually makes for a great video because today with it being, one sec, let me check real quick. With it being, hold that thought. 89 degrees right now with a high of 97 and a heat advisory of 104 to 107. So it's a little toasty today. Um, that's why I've got my Powerade right over here. I always go for the blue one, just my personal favorite. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, today we're going to be talking about Canon R5, the camera I'm using right now. And pretty much, does overheating really affect it? You know, is, is that a main factor that, you know, should lead you to not buy it um, solely because of that? So let me just go ahead and dive into it real quick. I have my notes on my phone here, so that way I don't forget anything. Um, I found this is actually pretty helpful. Now, I've said this in a few videos, but making notes of exactly what you want to say, like bullet points and whatnot, is very, very useful. So I do recommend it. Um, so as you guys probably saw on the channel, um, I shot a, an 8K video um, using this camera. So it was a full 8K, you know, full frame video. And to say the least, um, the quality was amazing, spectacular, but my computer crashed multiple times trying to edit that. So I don't think I'll be doing that again um, unless I need to for any kind of professional shoot. But um, those opportunities are few and far between, it seems. But hopefully we'll expand a little bit and I'll be able to do that a little more often. But um, something I wanna say about the 8K is that I was out there filming that video and it was like 20 minutes um, of filming just straight 8K. Pretty sure it was 20 minutes, it might've been like 18 minutes, but it's still, it's still around 20 minutes. Um, and I, I had no overheating problems whatsoever and it was in weather like this. So very hot, you know, very, I'm very sweaty um, and it's not in a very, it, it was kind of shaded a little bit, but the sun was still kind of beating down on the camera quite often. Um, so it wasn't, you know, secluded from the, from the sun. Um, so I, I had no overheating problems whatsoever. So I know a lot of people on YouTube, you know, they've, they've said this camera does have overheating problems and I'm pretty sure it does, but you'd have to be really pushing the limits. So you'd have to be recording to the max on 8K settings. Um, which I'm not sure exactly how many minutes that is. It's probably like 24 minutes, I want to say, 22, 24, something like that. Um, so 8K video, and this also does include uh, 4K high quality mode, which is basically just down sampled 8K that this camera does. Um, so both those modes, I feel like you're not really gonna have an issue um, unless you're filming really long videos in the heat like this. Um, I feel like with the updates, they've kind of, improve the the length of time you can record before it needs to kind of cool down but like i said i have yet to uh you know run into overheating issues um for my personal use you know shooting vlogs like this um i have no problems whatsoever you know i, I shoot these vlogs in normal 4k mode uh, which doesn't overheat at all no matter how hot it gets it seems um, but you know regardless i've shot an 8k before Trust me on this, you, you really gotta be pushing the limits, like I said, in order for that thing to overheat. Um, now, let's see here. Uh, something I, I want to emphasize on is th the reasons for me, like personally shooting in, in normal 4K. So um, if I shoot normal 4K, it's a lot easier on my computer um, to edit. Um, I do have a, a very good computer for editing, but it's just like the format that this, compu that this camera shoots in. Um, is insane, it's H.265, and, and not all computers can really edit with that, um, but I've found that for normal 4K, I can edit like 90%, like smooth playback, no problem. Every once in a while, there'll be like little hiccups here and there, but uh, 4K high quality mode and 8K are definitely a struggle for my computer. Yeah, it, it's really bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I feel like you don't really need to mess with, with uh, you know, worrying about overheating unless you're, you're doing professional shoots for a living. Um, if you are doing professional shoots for a living and you want to shoot in, you know, 4K, you know, down sampled 8K and 8K raw, um, if you want to shoot in all those modes, yeah, this probably isn't the camera for you. Um, I feel like this is a great camera for stills and video. 
for both sides. You know, it, it's a great 50-50 for those two, um, but it's not solely a video camera. I would go ahead and upgrade to something better than this um, if you're just shooting solely video. Now, for me personally, like I said, I have no issues with this camera. I go out and I shoot vlogs and occasionally like a, like a short film or documentary or something, but I, like I said, I have yet to have any issues with this camera. This camera's amazing, it's great. Um, and uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, that, that pretty much just kind of like wraps up what I wanted to talk about in today's video, just a few things on there. Um, so I will say that, you know, this camera is a full frame camera and it is very pricey, um, the body alone, not including the lens is, I want to say like $3,400 US. So around $3,300 to $3,400. I want to say I'm right on that, but uh, I could be wrong. I think it, it might be actually $3,800 or $3,900. It's up there. It's, it's over $3,000. So it's pretty pricey um, along with the lens I'm using right now, which is the, the new R lineup for the uh, EOS R cameras, and it is also pricey, around $2,000. So yeah, it's a pretty pricey setup that I'm rocking all the time here. Um, but you know, I, I kind of look at it as a uh, future-proof um, camera. So what I mean by that is, this camera is going to last me years, and that's why I bought it. You know, I chose to go with pretty much the latest camera you could get. I think it's like one or two steps down from the latest that's been released. Um, but it's a great camera, you know, it does what I want it to do. And if I ever need to shoot, you know, 8K video, I can do it. And uh, it's my first full frame camera, so I definitely love it. Um, the, the video and the picture quality and just like the color science, everything is spectacular, amazing, as you guys can probably tell from today's video. But this has been color graded, but I'm also shooting in log too. So yeah, you know, it, it's got all kinds of great features on it. Um, now for me personally, I shoot a lot more video than I shoot photos. So the video is very important to me and, and Canon has never really done me wrong with that. Um, so yeah, I love this camera. It's awesome, I would recommend it. Um, but like I said, if you're wanting to uh, do professional shoots with video, maybe it's like your main thing and you're getting paid like a lot of money or you do gigs for like, you know, $10,000, $20,000 for solely video work, Probably not this camera. Probably not good for you. <laughs> you you need to upgrade a little bit more. So um, save a little bit of extra room in the budget um, if that's your thing. And yeah, you know it, it should work out for you. Um, for YouTubing, you know that like what I'm doing right now, shooting vlogs like this. This camera's amazing. Like I said, I love it, and I'll probably say that for quite a while because I do love it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know um, this camera. Don't worry about the overheating. Like I said, if you're doing vlogs like this, travel videos, you know, short films every once in a while, this camera will do it for you. Um, no problem whatsoever. So yeah, you know, it, I would I would put the money forward and just get this camera. Pretty much what I'm saying here. Get this camera unless you're like a professional making loads of money. <laughs> but I, I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Um, this video has been something that has been requested actually. Um, by you guys, the audience, um, in regards to overheating on the Canon R5. So go ahead and, you know, keep commenting down below uh, videos you guys want to see. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys as always in the next video.